What's up guys, it is Android at Night and I've got another review for you today of the Note 2 and this is just going to be a really quick hardware look so we're going to go run through everything from the camera to the screen and just talk about how this device feels in your hand because uh, one of the big things about this is that it's big there's a joke in there somewhere and uh, I think the main thing to do with this sort of review is just sort of try and give you guys an idea of how this thing feels in your hand how it performs day to day um, with a screen this size so we're just going to start on the back, we've got an 8 megapixel camera I haven't tested this extensively, but it seems to be pretty good. Um, I think it's about on par with the Galaxy S3 camera, maybe slightly better. Uh, you've also got flash next to it, which works brilliantly. Uh, on the bottom here, you've got your speaker grill. Now, this is a little bit weird to get used to, as the little line in the middle is actually raised. So when you're holding it, it's some. I didn't really realise what it was for the first couple of times I was holding it, and I thought there was something stuck to the back of the device, because occasionally if you hold it with this hand, your pinky finger sort of rubs against it. Um, so that's something just to be aware of, there isn't something on the back of your device, that's just the speaker grill. Uh, you've also got this, which is a Samsung sort of painted slash embossed, I think it's probably painted because you can just about feel it, it's not shiny, um, so I don't think it's under the coating. Then on the bottom here you've got your S Pen, which is all lovely, which goes in and out. There's a really cool setting that um, triggers a little alarm if you leave the S Pen on the table and walk away as well, which is really cool. Um, on the bottom you've got your mini or is it micro? One of the two, I always get them confused. USB charging, and you've got one of your microphones there, which you can sort of see. And my Galaxy S3 with which I'm filming this is running out of battery, which is always good. Um, on the side you can see you've got this nice sort of mock aluminum bezel the whole way around, or aluminium, if the mood takes you. You've got your volume rocker there, and you've got your headphone jack on top, and your other noise cancelling microphone there. And then nothing else apart from the power button. On the front, you've got a 5.5 inch, and I have got the specs up on my Nexus 7 just to the side here. Uh, and the screen spec exactly is 5.55 inch HD Super AMOLED, uh, 1280 pixels by 720. I can say the display on this is really, really nice. Coming from a Galaxy S3, it feels pretty much identical. I know there's some difference with the pen tile display and things, but. Um, just using this for most of today, I really can't tell a the difference. They're both really nice displays. And just the pure size of this, you're going to love um, consuming content on it. It's really, really nice. It's really crisp. It's vivid. The refresh rate seems really good. You never get any sort of ghosting or anything like that. And the autofocus has gone nuts. Um, but we'll just turn that off as I think the screen knocks the autofocus a bit. On the front, you've got a home key, which is um, sort of that legacy from older versions of Android which Samsung have kept going for a bit. Hopefully they'll get rid of this because I don't like the home buttons. Um, but this just feels nice, feels secure, it's not going to sort of break. You've also got your two, turn the screen on again. You've also got your two capacitive buttons here. You've got home, sorry, you've got menu, which also works as a Google Now button. And you've got your back key. Uh, on the front, you've also got a speaker grill here. Samsung logo obviously there. These are slightly oddly positioned, the two sensors. On the Galaxy S3, they're sort of quite nice and aligned. On this, they sort of look a bit odd, sort of shoved up top. But you've got, um, I think that's an ambient light and a proximity sensor, and you've got a 1.9 megapixel front facing camera for video calling. You've also got a notification light here, and one issue I have had this had with this as far as hardware goes is the notification light, like this, is quite high up. And because this is the white device, you do get a bit of bleed around the LED, which you also get on the um, on the Galaxy S3, but this is so close to the top, in the dark you actually get a bleed that you can see sort of along the bezel slightly there, so it just looks a little bit weird. And um, It's not a big issue, but it's just a bit irritating when you've spent this much on a device. They could have just lowered the LED slightly, and I don't think that would have been an issue. Um, but saying that, it's not a huge issue, it's pretty much the only thing I could pick up uh, to complain about, which is pr probably a good sign. Um, the bezel, they said it's slightly smaller than the one on the Galaxy S3, I can't really tell the difference, it feels about the same to me, but um, it's slightly thinner than the original Note, sort of in that direction, so it feels quite nice in the hand. And I found that basically all my trousers I can fit this in, it's kind of the same as the Galaxy S3, if the S3 fits in, this will fit in, except it will just stick out that little bit more. Um, yeah, it's not as unwieldy as I thought it would be. I think if you're used to using a Galaxy S3 style device or maybe even a Galaxy S2, something that's bigger than an iPhone basically, you probably won't find the transition that weird. If you're using an iPhone, um, you're probably going to want to try one of these in a shop first because the difference will be sort of night and day as far as screen size goes. 
But um, yeah, I'm really impressed with this so far, guys. There's not really anything I can complain about as far as hardware goes. Um, the speakers are pretty good. They're slightly louder than the ones on the Galaxy S3. And I think I read somewhere that it's supposed to have slightly better um, audio technology or whatever the hell you put in an audio thing inside a phone. Um, but don't quote me on that. Um, I'll try and validate that and put a description somewhere. Is that reflection? Yeah, I thought it was a dead pixel for me. That scared the crap out of me. Um, yeah, guys, so that's a quick hardware tour of the Galaxy Note 2. If you guys haven't seen me before, please subscribe if you like my videos. If there's anything you want to see, uh, please drop me a comment or a PM or tweet to me on Twitter as opposed to tweeting me on Facebook. And I'll see you guys next time. Ta ra! <coughs>